Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, June 24, and this is our daily bread. The title is Love Covers a Multitude of Sins. So it's based on 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 through 11, and the key verse is 8. It says, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers a multitude of sins. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude, because whoever suffers in the body is done with sin. As a result, they do not live the rest of their earthly lives for evil human desires, but rather for the will of God. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and detestable idolatry. They are surprised that you do not join them in their reckless, wild living, and they heap abuse on you. But they will have to give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is the reason the gospel was preached even to those who are now dead, so that they might be judged according to human standards in regard to the body, but live according to God in regard to the spirit. The end of all things is near. Therefore be alert and of sober mind so that you may pray. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Daily Bread First, Choosing to Live for God Peter urges us to arm ourselves with the same mindset as Christ. In other words, we need to think like Jesus. Jesus didn't live for his human desires, but for the will of God. By focusing on Christ's example, we can deny our will, overcome sinful desires, and live lives that honor God. In college, you might face many temptations from party culture to peer pressure. As professionals, you might be influenced by your coworkers and peers to pour your life into achieving worldly success and making money. But you can choose to live differently by setting clear personal boundaries based on your faith. Participate in activities that strengthen your focus on God and help you live for Him and not for yourself. Second, deep love in action. Peter emphasizes the importance of loving each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. This deep love leads to forgiveness, understanding, and patience with others. Practice forgiveness and understanding in your relationships. When conflicts arise with roommates, classmates, family, and even with church members, seek reconciliation instead of holding grudges. This is the profound love the Bible teaches us and the love that God calls us to demonstrate to one another. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice, which saved me and continues to empower me to live a godly life. Help me to embrace a lifestyle that reflects your love and goodness by rejecting worldly desires and loving others deeply. Please strengthen me to overcome temptation and to grow closer to you each day. We love you and we trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, love deeply as the Bible calls me to.